Hey guys, and welcome to episode two of my Nick's Weave series. So we're going to jump right into the video. I've already got my wig cap on and I'm going to put a shower cap over that because we're doing a removable quick weave. To do it, I'm going to use this dome style wig cap instead of like the thinner wig caps um, so that it'll hold better on this. And then I don't have to do the um, bond protective shield. The hair I have today is from Ali Coco. I got a 12 inch 5x5 five five closure and then bundles in 14, 16, and 18 inches. I will make sure to put all the info down in the description box. I did attempt to bleach the knots on this closure. Um, that's why it looks a little wet, but it didn't really make much of a difference. So to start off the quick weave, I'm going to go in with my 30 second glue and I'm going to put the glue on the closure first. I want to glue the closure down first. I'm doing a middle part today and I wanted to point out that I didn't put the glue all the way up to the edge of the closure. This is very important because the glue seeps through the lace and you'll be able to see it if you put it too far up. So I wanted to leave at least like half an inch um, away from where the actual hairline starts, probably where I would separate my baby hairs um, and pluck some of that hairline. I didn't want to put glue right there. So I wanted to show you that. And then I'm going to go in with my 18 inch bundle and I'm going to start laying those tracks. So I laid the tracks just straight across from ear to ear until I got up to my temples just to speed this video up. This is just kind of like the direction that I laid them. I didn't angle them at all. And then I came back uh, to show you guys that when I get to this point, this is when I start to like curve the tracks upward, like the end of the tracks upward so that they kind of lay on top of each other and cover the track beneath it each time and it just kind of helps for everything to look more seamless if you keep like laying them just straight across instead of angling the ends upward it's harder to hide the tracks especially when like the wind blows and things like that you'll kind of see i wouldn't be i wouldn't be able to demonstrate what i mean um but that was the end of the first bundle and now i'm on to the second and since this is like a whole quick weave series, I did speed through the process just because it'll be a little bit repetitive if I show you in every single video. Um, so now I'm just kind of closing up the rest of the quick weave and I'm letting down the closure. I'm going to put my part in first. And um, like I said, I bleached a notch, which is why the closure is wet. So I'm going to do my part and then I'm going to blow dry my closure before I do anything else. So now that I'm finished blow drying the closure, this is all the hair that I had left over. I only used two bundles because I thought that the wig would be a lot fuller than it actually came out to be. So I took my wig off. I wanted to show you my wig cap and I just pulled that shower cap right out. And this is how my removable quick weave came out. I definitely prefer this method over gluing it straight to my head. And then I just went in and cut out the um, black part of the wig cap uh, underneath the closure and you want to make sure you don't cut too close to where you glued it at because then you're um you'll end up messing the quick weave up and you don't want to do that so i left like a little bit of space a couple of centimeters uh just so i wouldn't mess it up and then i put the wig back on and i began to style it and you guys i was really excited about how this came out like i was very happy this was my first successful removable quick weave. It was super easy and I'm so glad that I got it all on camera so I can show you guys exactly how I did it. So now on to the styling. I'm gonna let you guys um, watch me style the hair and then I'm gonna go off camera and do my makeup and come back and share my final thoughts at the end.
Okay guys, so now I am back. Like I said before, this hair is from Ali Coco. It's a 5x5 12 inch closure and the bundles are in 14, 16, and 18 inches. The link will be in the description box, so make sure you check that. I absolutely love this hair and this color. It's super soft, super bouncy. I will say that my curls fell um, after about an hour. I don't know if that's because I didn't pin curl them and let them um, cool, but I did want to let you guys know that it does curl well, but it doesn't hold a curl well. It's also thin at the ends. So like I got 18 inches, but I would probably cut it at about right here so that it's full on the ends or just uh, use all of the bundles to make it fuller because I didn't, I only used two. Other than that, I didn't get any tangling, uh, minimal shedding. I would definitely order from this company again. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down in the comments and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.